Hi, in this uh, video tutorial, uh, we are going to derive uh, countrywide training points from uh, JDIS level 2A relative height uh, matrix uh, data. We know that uh, preparing training points for land cover classification is labor intensive and uh, time consuming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can uh, create uh, uh, training data points uh, in a cost-effective uh, way. Okay, so uh, first uh, we are going to uh, extract uh, the training points uh, from uh, uh, JDIS uh, uh, level 2A data set. Then uh, we'll export the data set to uh, QGIS where we are going to uh, reclassify the data set and uh, check it or clean it up a bit. Then following that, we'll export, we'll uh, again import the data set back to uh, Earth Engine and then we are going to run a classification. Okay, so in this uh, first tutorial, uh, let's start by uh, extracting the training points uh, from uh, JDS level 2A relative height matrix. Right, so first uh, step is that we are going to uh, define our boundary. So here I've used the boundary of uh, for Zimbabwe. Okay. So we use Zimbabwe as an example, but uh, you can change uh, uh, to any country that you want uh, to use the training, uh, to extract the training data for. And then next, uh, uh, we are going to load uh, our JEDI uh, level 2A uh, data set. So this is the, the same procedure that we followed uh, in the previous uh, videos. So if you have not uh, watched the video, please uh, do so. Right, so here we are interested uh, in this uh, metric uh, relative height 98. So this is going to contain our uh, height matrix. Okay, so next we will just uh, create a palette uh, that we are going to use the, uh, we are going to use to visualize the JDI data set. Uh, after that, we are going to define the projection and uh, scale parameters. Then uh, we are going to extract uh, the training points uh, using these uh, few lines of code. Finally, we are going to export uh, the extracted training points uh, uh, to uh, Google Drive. So you can either export as a KML or a shapefile. Either way is okay. Then you finish, you just uh, uh, hit run, and then uh, the, the whole script is going to run. So I've already run the script. So these are the training points uh, that I've uh, created. And then uh, next, you just go to task and then uh, uh, click run so that you start to uh, export the training uh, points. So if I click run, uh, this is the name of uh, the file that I'm going to export to drive. And uh, the file format, uh, you can choose uh, any of these. So I can choose shape file and then click run then to start to, to export. Right, so this is just a very quick video. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this uh, uh, video tutorial. So please uh, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so, so that you get alerts when there's a new video. I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.